guys, my name is Tamara Chambers and this is Tamara's Never Seen. And today I am watching Saving Private Ryan for the first time, which I assume is a film about a guy named Private Ryan that they are trying to save. This is a film that's been on Netflix for a while. They actually just took it off. I actually I had to rent it on DVD. It's one that I've seen. I'm like, that's a movie that I know I have to watch at some point in my life. Who wants to like voluntarily watch a really sad, long movie about war? Not me. Hi, Tamara. Hi, Tamara. So we're gonna watch some things. I've got a couple options for you. Option one, Saving Private Ryan. It's a war movie. No, no, nah. Next option. Okay, good point. Option two, Parks and Recreation for the seventh time in a row. That's the one. Okay, let's do it. All right. Should we drink a beer? Each, we could each have one. Or we could each have a couple beers. That's usually how that goes. But I was recently talking to Doug and the guys at the last Nostalgia Critic shoot, and they were saying that Saving Private Ryan, Citizen Kane, which I've not seen, um, A League of Their Own, um, The Fugitive, uh, those are a couple movies that I need to watch and add to my list. I have a really long list, you guys. But anyways, today I am watching Saving Private Ryan, and I am ready to watch a really good movie that is gonna be sad. So here we go. Tamara's never seen. Wow. Damn, that was so intense and crazy and really hard to watch. So I'm just gonna read my first page of notes just out because I wasn't even writing sentences. I was just like, oh God, oh my God, oh God. The first battle is nuts, horrible. Well done, but just, yeah. oh my God. Ah! Ah! Oh my god. Jesus. Talk about purposeful gore. Holy hell. Start of the movie. I was eating a Chipotle burrito. After battle massacre scene. Never eating again. Oh my god, it just keeps going. I thought it was done. It wasn't done. I've never had such a hard time watching a movie. Oh, I just noticed Vin Diesel's in this film. Also, is that Brian Cranston? Crushing it. <laughs> Some of the actors that they have in this, I didn't realize it was them for a hot second. Also, I'm really bad with faces and names and people and things verbs and nouns. <laughs> I really enjoy Vin Diesel in a lot of things. I thought he was great in this for the short time that he's in the movie. Brian Cranston is in it for even a shorter amount of time. Tom Hanks is always like a, an incredible delight for me as a movie watcher. So, okay, let's rewind a bit. To be honest, I have seen the first just like couple minutes of this movie because um, it was on Netflix and I was like, oh, this is a movie that everyone talks about. I'll watch the first bit of it. and. I remember watching like five minutes into the battle and just being like, oh my, this is just a lot of battle. Blah. I'm sure it's over soon, but I'm not into this. Parks and Rec. <laughs> I had no idea that the battle was so long and is so intense. It was difficult for me to watch. I'm, I don't have a problem with gore usually. I would rather my movies not have a ton of gore. Like, I don't love like the Saw movies, stuff like that, but like I'll watch them. Like I don't have a problem watching them. I just. It just doesn't do it for me, like it doesn't scare me. In movies like this, where it so serves a purpose, um, it's way harder to watch. I, it, it was, I've never had such a hard time watching a film before. It's just intense, right? Isn't it so crazy? Ah. <laughs> so anyways, then you meet Mrs. Ryan, who has lost three out of four of her children. And the military is like, actually, we're going to go get your other child because you need that one child God damn it. So they f create this special task force to go find Private Ryan. So Tom Hanks is the leader of this group, um, the commander, it's not the word, but he's the leader. The leader of the pack, is that from Greece? Then you've got all of the main guys in this group and it's an incredible group of men actors. They are so good, I, there's not a weak link among them. But all of those guys think that it's a waste of time. <laughs> They're not into this mission for the most part. Then I peed, <laughs> then I peed it. Then I paused it to go pee. <laughs> and I paused it at 49 minutes in and I saw that the movie is two hours and 49 minutes. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> oh my God, long movies are long. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? <laughs> Does my logic add up there? <laughs> Then my only laugh of the whole film comes from Paul Giamatti, who was talking about how his ankles are weak like an old woman's. And I was like, girl, I feel you, yes, Paul Giamatti. You're wonderful in everything you're in, by the way, so. 
another bun clump. <laughs> I gotta wear my hair down next time. <laughs> bump, bump. <laughs> bump, bump. I know I saw the first scene. I know I was there for that, but I wasn't expecting um, almost all of the team to die. I also wasn't expecting the people to live who lived for them to live. I think I was expecting different people. Mainly Vin Diesel, first person to die. I really was enjoying him in the movie, which is a good thing, I guess. It's like, they're like, yeah, you're comfortable, bam. I said, this isn't what I was expecting, honestly. This is real. This is a devastating war movie. It's as simple as you can get there, Tamara, but honestly, it's, it's true. So in the group of guys, um, under Tom Hanks' command, they've got the language guy, this little scrawny dude who can speak French and German, and so that's why they need him with them. Up him. Up him, I think? Up him? Up him is his character name? Um, he asks Tom Hanks who, where he's from, and Tom is like, what's, uh, what's the bed at now? <laughs> and that was so good! I really like that aspect of the movie where he's like, I know, I know, I know they're betting on where I'm from. He's like, um, I think it's 300, sir. He's like, well, when it gets to 500, I'll tell you, we'll split the money. He's like, I feel compelled to advise you to wait until 1,000, sir. <laughs> and he's like, we probably won't be alive till then, so let's do 500. <laughs> They're like, great, sweet. <laughs> was a nice moment. Adam Goldberg, that's who I'm looking for. What else has he been in? Oh, a lot of things, wow. A monster in Paris. Oh, he's been in Babe, The Pig in the City. Great, he was in the Anna Nicole story. He was in Homeward Bound too. Good for him. But I love that he um, is a Jewish soldier and they're fighting against the Germans and they take Germans captive and he's showing them his um, Star of David. He's like, yeah, see that bitches, bitches. I wrote, all of the acting is great, but the medic is ex exceptional. Oh, and then he died. This is f***ed. So he gets shot by the enemy, obviously, and um, since he's the medic, they're like, tell us what to do. They're like, here's here's where you're hurt, and he's like pushing on his, his stomach, and he's like, oh, well, f It's my liver. Damn. They're like, what can we do? And he's like, well, uh, I would like some more morphine, please. Because nothing, you can't, because there's nothing to do. So then they, they capture one of the German soldiers that was shooting at them. Up him, the, the linguistics guy is like, Linguistics, is that, is that the word I'm going for? Language, linguistics, right? I don't know. <laughs> the guy who speaks things um, is like, they all want to shoot him because he, they, he just shot their best friend. And so obviously um, he's like, but actually he's a prisoner of war. You can't shoot him, that's against the rules. Tom is like, yeah, you're right. And so he lets him go. Um, and they're all pissed. Cause they're like, ah, uh, f rules because he just shot one of our best friends and we're on this mission and fuck, everything is so Sorry, Walter. I know you have to edit this. <laughs> the next thing I wrote is, this is just a really long, really sad movie. Tom Hanks, you better not die, seriously. Oh, past Tamara. You simple and naive fool. Um, then my DVD skipped, which is annoying, yes, but seemingly insignificant while watching this film. So to break the tension, Tom Hanks finally reveals where he's from. Everyone's yelling, everyone's yelling, and he goes, hey, what's the poll at, guys? He's like, I'm a school teacher. It was a great moment. I was like, God, I'm so glad he was a school teacher. What a cool thing. Of course he's so great and patient and wonderful. So then they actually find Ryan. They find Matt Damon. And so of course he refuses to go. He takes a moment to be super sad about his brothers. And then he's like, but why would I go when all of these men have fought as hard as me? Why would I fucking go? No fucking way, bitch. And then he backhands Tom Hanks and then he runs around with his hands up. He's like, whoa. So they side with Ryan's very small squadron who have been just picked apart. So they decide to stay there so that they can get Ryan out um, after they've won this next battle. So then the bad guys come with like four tanks and like 60 men. Another really long battle scene and it was so good and well done. Then I wrote, Fuck, everyone dies. Um, so Tom, Matt, and then the language guy, linguistics guy are alive. 
Oh, also the asshole guy and the second in command guy, Mike. JK, Mike is dead. <laughs> then you see the guy that they had let go. They didn't kill. They wanted you so bad, but they let him go. He is now shooting at them and he shoots Tom Hank. No, you don't. Not Tom. Not my friend Tom. No, no. No, no, no. No. Oh. No. 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 So and finally some fing help comes in the form of a fing airplane. Thank you, America. I know the resources were limited, it's just it's just like a good moment. <laughs> then up him shoots the guy that they let go and he shoots Tom. He shoots him. It's the first kill that he has in the whole movie, and it's just really good, satisfying moment. So the US takes control and Tom Hanks dies after telling Matt Damon, like, earn this, deserve it, earn it. And then it cuts back to the scene you see in the very beginning where it's old Matt. It's sad. It's a sad movie. It was a good movie. It was sad and it was stressful, but good. Good doesn't mean happy, it means good. War isn't good, but good men go to war. This was a good movie. Like there's so many good things that have come from this series and also some bullshit, but <laughs> like mostly good. Um, but like the best thing that's come from this is just, like, I've gotten an excuse to like, I have to watch <laughs> movies that I should have watched in my lifetime. It's like really cool to see these movies. Anyways guys, um, thanks for watching. I so appreciate you guys watching this and um, leaving nice, kind comments, and then everyone else can just go jump off a cliff. Can't put that in there. It's not nice though. <laughs> Maybe I will put it in. <laughs> Anyways, I put up a video on my personal channel yesterday and it has Rachel Teets in it and she's wonderful. We answered some movie trivia that you guys sent me on Twitter. Um, we did really well, as expected. Oh no, there's no cats in this episode. Sorry guys. Next week. Now, just look out for Ike next week. <laughs> what a star. <laughs> Bye, guys.